Greetings! What you see here um, is a mood lamp or night light or whatever you want to call it. It was just a, uh, an idea that I had. Um, I made this out of uh, compact discs, uh, blank CDs, um, Christmas LED strings from uh, Poundland um, and uh, an Arduino and a few miscellaneous items uh, along the way. Um, so. Yeah, uh, this this was inspired by um, something that I saw um, submitted on Reddit, and someone made uh, an LED lamp um, out of a CD, uh, basically by taping an LED in the in the middle of a disc and hanging it off the ceiling, which is um, nice and simple idea. But I thought, you know, actually with an LED you can do quite a bit more. Um, if uh, if you use the acrylic uh, on the disc as a light pipe and um, light it up from the inside of the uh, of the disc uh, which is what I've done over here um, I've had five sets of uh, Christmas LED lights from Poundland from uh, from a while back and hence five colors um, or maybe there were Halloween uh, lights uh, I can't remember but um, yeah I've decided to use those uh, uh, for this project there is uh, 25 discs uh, four LEDs per, uh, per disc and uh, uh, yeah, so 100, uh, 100 LEDs. Um, a base uh, in the base, I've got an Arduino um, and a button to change to a couple of different modes. Uh, but this is uh, this is what this is what you see here. This is what I was aiming for in terms of an effect I was looking. This is almost uh, completely random, so you will randomly fade in and out each uh, each color. Uh, without any uh, particular pattern and I've got a speed control at the moment this is set on the fastest just to uh, show this on the video um, how it cycles through the colors but um, the idea is uh, I'll, when this is going to be sitting uh, somewhere in the room it will be much slower um, that I can adjust the transition time to over a minute uh, or so um, between fading uh, each color in and out um, so the, this will uh, provide a nice ambient light. It is surprisingly, uh, surprisingly bright. Actually, it is. Um, the LEDs are being driven at only about uh, uh, five uh, milliamps, uh, just under. So even with that, they uh, they seem to be quite bright. It's uh, you know it's it's bright enough to uh, so you can see something when there's dark in the room. But at the same time, it's. Uh, dark enough uh, that you could sleep right next to it and it wouldn't disturb you so um, yeah let me take you through the build I was trying to make uh, snapshots uh, video snapshots of uh, how I was making this so let me take you through that and I hope you enjoy the build so what I'm going to be using is recordable CDs I've got uh, five packs of those uh, I'll be needing 24 in total um, those LED packs from Poundland um, got five of those as well there's 20 LEDs on each and I'll be using um, four of those uh, per each disc um, so I should because uh, I've got five packs five different colors uh, I'll be using 16 uh, of each uh, each color that will make 96 uh, LEDs in the lamp um, you'll need a empty spindle uh, I'm not sure if I'll use this one perhaps I'll look for a, a slightly longer one and um, yeah everything will be controlled by um, Arduino uh, I've got a couple of uh, Arduino Nanos. Uh, we'll get to that uh, a bit later, but let's let's get started with the uh, mechanical stuff. So first of all, I need to get each CD pack um, to this state. So I'm keeping them in in the bundles. I think those bundles actually are quite handy. If they were not bundled uh, bundled in into five packs, I would have uh, I would have done it myself with some uh, with some tape. Uh, but they come nicely packed in five, so that's handy. So what I need to do is mark out what uh, what needs to be cut off and the area darkened up uh, with a pencil this is what needs to be cut and to mark it here is a, a fresh pack so first of all um, the CDs are flat on one side and uh, there is a slightly thicker ring on uh, on the bottom of the CD so when you uh, locate this on the uh, on the bottom of the pack you can mark around it to make a perfect circle and this is exactly just as uh, th this is how much uh, I need to cut into it now to make it easier for uh, for drawing on this I'll use a little bit of masking tape and just stick it 
on the center that makes the pencil a lot more visible and I can gently draw around the circle easily I've gone off the line a couple of times but that doesn't matter um, so that's the first step now now I need to draw uh, two lines across the circle that go equally through the center and uh, through the center of the circle and are uh, at the right uh, 90 degree angle uh, to each other and to do that there is a trick now if this was a circle that I drew with uh, um, with a compass um, in the first place that would be somewhat easy but because there is a center missing over here and I can't punch through it because this is just tape um, there is a uh, a neat uh, trick to that so all you have to do is draw two lines on the side of the circle that cross at some point there we go and now you'll take a compass and set it to something more or less uh, it, it's not critical what sort of uh, distance you measure but you basically make a line crossing over here and then from here you'll do another mark and where the lines cross through here here will lead uh, precisely through the center of the uh, center of the circle that we've got on here Okay, that's one. Now to do uh, do this across the line, uh, it's similar thing. Uh, just use the end point of the uh, first line that we drew, and you can mark on both sides. It doesn't matter how wide your uh, how wide your tool is, uh, your compass it only matters it stays the same uh, on both sides and that's about it um, there we go so that's a second line so now I can draw the second line through the center and I know those are perfectly um, centered and uh, that's exactly what I need so then uh, what I need to do is mark off uh, uh, to make this a little bit thicker uh, so it fits an LED now the LEDs I'm using are at the thickest points they're about 5.3 millimeter wide that's slightly weird but um, that's one of the reasons why I'm using those because they're uh, slightly odd uh, size um, but what I need to do is mark slightly more than that that will give me a tiny bit of uh, extra space so I'll mark three millimeters aside from each line. Like so. This, again, th this part is not exactly critical, but it's, uh, it's good to be somewhat accurate. That's one. And the same with the other one. making those um, those slots a little bit wider than the leading maybe 0.7 millimeter wider uh, will give me uh, a little bit of room to wiggle them in and that's uh, that's about it so those are the areas that I need to uh, cut off on the discs a 
okay that's all of them marked up and uh, now we've got to get them t uh, get those cut out so um, let's get to the saw okay here we go with the thread saw so uh, slightly different surroundings um, but yeah thread saw or uh, it's also called uh, oh I forgot now scroll saw that's the one um, is um, is ideal for this task reason being um, on this type of saw you can uh, you can actually remove the blade and put it um, inside the hole that you want to start um, cutting from so I'm just doing exactly that okay there we go and now let's see how the cut goes Okay, that's the first cut. So what I'll probably do is stop recording because this will this is gonna take a while and uh, come back to you when when it's finished. Okay, I've got the older CDs cut and this is how they uh, look like. So I've got the little cross missing in the middle and the idea is uh, I'll put the LEDs in here and then stack them back up. Um, I've got the whole lot, 25 CDs cut out. Um, now the next step is the LEDs. So those are the um, string um, lights uh, from uh, Poundland, and I didn't have much use for them. I just bought them because I thought it was a good deal to get 20 LEDs for a pound. Um, but um, what I've done already with them to prepare them, um, I've cut a little slot on each LED, as you can see over here, um, and I'm. My fingers are all dusty because of because I was just cutting those slots now. So at first I thought I'll make a little jig and that will allow me to slot the LED individually uh, one by one like this and uh, put it against the fret saw or uh, scroll saw to, to cut uh, cut this out. But it turned out that the blade uh, blades I've got for the uh, scroll saw are too narrow, uh, too thin. So the the slot there was too much work involved uh, with widening in it up afterwards but um, what I've noticed is um, I've got a little uh, blade for uh, my Dremel uh, type tool and uh, I basically use this to cut out one by one this um, the, the res LED resin is quite soft so this went quite uh, quite easily I just uh, did it by finger one by one um, and it went reason uh, reasonably quick so now I've got a painful task uh, of desoldering all of this. I don't think there is an easier way to do it rather than just stripping them one by one. So there's a hundred LEDs, so those, this will take a while. So uh, I'll do that next. Right, about 15 minutes later I've managed to strip uh, one, uh, one color, the warm white and uh, acquired not one uh, but two cuts uh, in my finger that might be just um, just my me being uh, not qualified to uh, be in possession of sharp objects uh, but yeah thankfully my uh, my wife provided me with a plaster uh, or two of them uh, I've managed to cut myself twice in nearly the same spot but anyways uh, I must press on I've got four uh, more of those and at this rate there is a good chance of me bleeding to death so if I don't finish this video uh, I won't finish it uh, you know why but if you see this video there is a good chance that I've managed to uh, stay away from the cuts okay for about five minutes later I've got another stripped out and no new injuries turns out it's all in the technique anyways pressing on done this is all the crap I've uh, removed so now I have to desolder this I can't cut the leads off because I need the I need those um, so yeah I'll be cutting off uh, 
now keeping so far they've been attached uh, by the cables but now I've got to keep them sorted so I need to pay attention not to mix up the uh, green with orange with purple or whatever the other colors are so uh, I need some sort of sorting contraption and done so I kept everything organized I made a little note of uh, which color is uh, which, I've got white, orange, red, green and purple and yeah, a whole bunch of uh, thingies uh, that were holding the legs, I'm, I'm not sure, I'll just put them here um, I might use those as spacer, spacers later on but that's yet to be decided, I've definitely kept the black cables uh, because they're conveniently cut to uh, short lengths and uh, I I can I can use them to connect different um, CDs uh, uh, with one another so yeah uh, I think the next step is to put the LEDs onto the CDs and glue them, uh, glue them in place right so what I'm doing here is attaching the LEDs to the disc uh, from the inside like so so I'm slotting the uh, slot that I've cut out uh, before over the edge of the disc uh, in the spots that have been cut out. Now what I'm using to um, hold this in place is uh, clear nail polish. Now I've chose this because I don't really need much mechanical strength I think uh, because this is going to be on the inside and it's not going to be uh, touched or moved once uh, fully assembled but the clear nail polish what it does for me uh, apart from uh, being a glue, it also helps to optically couple the um, the LED to the edge of the disc. Um, so, because the, the edge is uh, a little bit rough uh, on both the disc and the LED, so um, this helps more light to to pass through. And also, um, I will be spray painting this afterwards. Um, uh, this uh, um, this helps to stop any spray paint getting in between the LED and the disc so after applying uh, uh, a small amount of uh, nail polish into onto the LED into the into the slot uh, I'm able to position this over and slightly push it over so it uh, kind of holds in place and that's about it so I've got to do it with four of them now it's important at this stage uh, to observe the polarity and make sure I don't uh, that all, that all LEDs go in the same way uh, because I will be using the uh, leads uh, of the LEDs to get those connected um, later on so I need to make sure that all of those go in uh, go in the same way um, but yeah I've got a uh, hundred LEDs to mount this way so this will take a while Oops. And this will take a moment, 25 discs and uh, yeah, 50, uh, sorry, 100 LEDs. So it's uh, it takes maybe about a minute or so per disc. Because it is a little bit fiddly. Now I'm, I'm also filing the uh, the slot a little bit because it's ever uh, just just a little bit too tight, and I've, uh, I've actually cracked one of the uh, LEDs uh, by applying too much pressure. It basically split, but um, not a big deal because it didn't expose the die. So um, yeah, it's uh, it's still uh, good to go. I may later on decide to apply my, uh, some sort of uh, thicker glue over this, uh, but yeah, that's yet to be decided. Right, um, I'll, I've left uh, all the CDs uh, overnight, and uh, the nail polish has uh, nail varnish has um, solidified uh, quite well, and. Um, it holds, uh, I was quite worried that it, it will be too weak, uh, but it holds the LEDs quite well. Um, so the next thing what I've done is I've gone and cut uh, quite a few, actually a hundred uh, little sections like this of uh, 
um, a chopstick. So this, uh, this, those chopsticks, uh, I'm gonna be using as uh, spaces in between the CDs uh, when they're laying on the side, so so I can achieve a uniform uh, spacing between the discs. And this is what it looks like. I've just decided to have a little uh, free handing this. Uh, I've decided to have a little feel how um, how it's going to fit and whether the leads and whatnot uh, are going to be long enough. Uh, but it seems um, okay more or less for uh, what I wanted to achieve. So I'll just uh, continue with that. So the way I'm connecting LEDs on the uh, on the discs is um, like so. So uh, I know those are all arranged in uh, in correct polarity. Uh, I'm still doing a sanity check later on uh, because I don't want this uh, to go any further. If I need to swap an LED right now, I still can do it. Uh, just snap it off and put it uh, other way around. Uh, but I won't be able to do that once I uh, paint this. So, yeah, uh, checking the LEDs, uh, double checking that they're correct polarity and connecting them all the way around except for the last uh, bit where to the negative I'm attaching uh, a piece of a... Uh, wire uh, that came off of those um, LEDs actually those sections and the other pin I'm just bending over and the idea is that as I um, go through the colors uh, so first of all the uh, the positive which is this one has to be all commoned up and if I uh, bend the same lead for uh, every every disc up I will be, they are just long just about long enough uh, to touch one another like so I'm not sure if you can see that there you go um, so I'll be able to just uh, touch it with uh, with soldering iron as I assemble this and this will continue uh, this will make a continuous uh, lead going up uh, providing a positive uh, uh, terminal to all the uh, all the discs now in terms of this one this one will this is the idea how I want to get this connected so I'll be I'll, because I've got five colors I'll be doing it in five different sections I was thinking about whether to randomize the colors or not but uh, yeah I've decided uh, not to so I'll be going uh, you know white uh, red purple whatever the colors are in the sequence and then I'll repeat that sequence uh, five times and that will make it uh, to 25 discs um, now in terms of uh, switching them later on, I'm gonna have all the colors commoned up with a resistor in series with the LEDs, and I will go uh, through to a transistor, and the transistor is gonna get, be controlled from uh, from Arduino uh, most likely. Um, but um, yeah, so that that's the reason for the lead. So this will allow me to jump over. So there's five colors. So this will allow me to jump over four uh, discs on top of it and connect to the fifth one. Uh, which will be uh, uh, the next of the same color. Um, so uh, yeah, the the leads are still a bit too long, but uh, I'm not too sure. Uh, I wasn't sure how how long I'll need them, and I, that's how they came on the thing. So I'll probably just trim them later on. Uh, just there is not too much wire. There's a little bit of slack. It's okay, but uh, this is probably twice as much as I need. So. Yeah, um, I've got 25 discs to solder, well 23 now, and uh, then um, I'll think what to do next. As I'm soldering the discs, uh, the LEDs on the discs, um, I'm doing them in batches of five, um, so one color uh, at a time, and when I'm done with five I'll then uh, apply the spacers that uh, I've made. Um, so. The way to do that is quite simple. Um, again, I'm using the nail polish. Simply apply the nail polish in four spots, just a small blob. This whole thing will be painted over so it doesn't uh, really matter. But this is all kind of different materials and stuff uh, because it will all be black in the end and the, 
and the paint uh, I suspect it will also help it will help to um, affix everything together um, even further once it dries out and again there's not gonna be any any movement this is just to uh, help assemble the thing and it will be pressed together in the end so yeah there won't be any uh, any forces uh, on this that was a little bit of camera but yeah there, there you go so that's uh, this I would consider uh, a disc almost ready for painting. Um, there's a couple more, uh, couple more uh, preparation steps to do, but um, that in a moment. Okay, I'm on my disc number 20, so I've got five more left to uh, bend the lead solder and uh, apply the spaces. It's really tedious. There's uh, a lot of repetitive work, which is uh, uh, which gets kind of uh, well, repetitive and annoying uh, at the same time but yeah I'm uh, almost done with the most uh, annoying part so only a few left and I just gently tap those into the uh, nail polish nail varnish whatever you want to call it yeah but uh, nail varnish by the way is uh, really a great uh, great item to have in your in your toolbox if you're uh, into do DIY and doing random things because uh, it's got quite a few uses Especially in electronics, it's uh, it's very handy, uh, very handy uh, item to have. But yeah, there we go. So I know a couple of those are not perfectly aligned and and whatnot, but it doesn't matter. Um, in the end, everything will be black, won't be visible, and from the side of you won't be able to tell whether the LED is perfectly aligned or not. So um, not to worry. I'm quite sure uh, that this will this will turn out okay. Okay, so I've uh, finished all the discs, finally, and um, yeah, the, they're all uh, wired up, uh, almost, and uh, the spaces are on, and they're ready for painting and then stacking and uh, final connections in between them. Now, while I was waiting for this uh, to cure and, uh, you know, to, to be, to finish doing what it's, uh, what it's doing, um, I realized that I'm not going to fit all of them uh, on a spindle so um, this uh, this has changed a little bit so in the beginning I was uh, going to rely only on the, on the LEDs for spacing this out um, but then I realized it's not going to work because the LEDs weren't cut as uh, precisely so I thought okay I'll put some spacers in uh, but that uh, basically made the whole thing taller and it's not fitting on the on this uh, 50 CD spindle. Um, I thought I had a 100 CD spindle somewhere, but I couldn't find it. So um, I went to the local hardware store, uh, B&Q, and I got this for uh, £1.50. Uh, this is just a long uh, pine dowel, uh, precisely 15 millimeter across, which is the inside diameter of the um, CD, so perfect for that. Um, and while I was there, I picked up a few other things. So I've noticed those in uh, plumbing section. So those are um, radiator pipe uh, covers, and those uh, those are going to be perfect, I think. Let's open this up. So those are going to be perfect for covering this up. Um, like so. Um, so the very top, uh, at the very top disc and the bottom disc, I'm gonna have a nice, uh, nice sort of uh, finish. Uh, you get the idea. So yeah, I got those. Uh, so it's relatively cheap. 
and uh, what else did I get? Um, I was thinking about a base for this, um, where I can stick the Arduino and a couple of transistors and do all the wiring and the power jack and so on and so forth. And um, yeah, I was I was actually gonna mount everything underneath the spindle maybe or put something in here, but um, I saw the uh, boxes, the electrical boxes. I think they're called Patras box. Uh, yeah, single Patras box 44. Sorry, let me get this plastic away. So this is uh, just a regular. Uh, electrical box, uh, the flavor that's uh, that's meant to be mounted on the outside of the wall, um, and this is I thought this is perfect for it. So it's a it's a nice rigid box. Um, I've got a blank plate to go with it, uh, and it comes with screws nicely mounted in here. And uh, yeah, I'll be able to mount everything in here and screw this in. Now I need to. Uh, drill a hole for the dowel and the dowel will be sticking out from here um, now there is kind of pre section I think this is meant for uh, pushing it out um, but yeah uh, I think that's a that's a brilliant base this actually makes a really nice project box I might use this uh, later on for different stuff um, there are different sizes thicker and there's half size smaller and double size so I think as, as far as cheap and uh, useful project box this is brilliant uh, why didn't I think of this uh, before anyways um, that's that so um, before I do anything with all of this let me take the screws out uh, because I will be painting the whole lot um, I will be painting this uh, everything black uh, including those um, I've got five of those another thing I was think, uh, thinking um, I don't want this to be uh, once the CDs are stacked on here I don't want this to be picked up by the discs uh, because yeah I, that's rather fragile so I thought because I've got five of those that idea came on my way back in the car um, I'll use one on on top of the box um, I'll use one underneath the discs, i use use one on top of the discs and I'll use uh, two of them stacked like so uh, at the very top, so from the top disc I'll have a piece of uh, dowel sticking out it will be uh, somewhat like this, so I'll be able to this will be a kind of handle uh, to pick the pick the lamp up um, if necessary um, so yeah, um, all of this needs to be painted black, uh, including the discs. And uh, yeah, um, I'm not sure if I'm gonna be filming the painting because uh, I'm not sure it's gonna come out right and the weather is uh, not so great. So maybe um, let me uh, talk about this for a second here. So. The discs are quite reflective on one side, and then there is a piece of acrylic on the other side. Um, and I want, for the visual effect that I'm going for, I want this uh, whole thing to be um, to be black, basically, and just emit the light from the edge. Now, the bottom side, uh, the top I can just spray uh, with black color, and that's fine. But the bottom one, if I spray it with black, the black color absorbs quite a lot of light, so it will make it, the light appear a little bit dimmer than uh, than it should be um, I think um, so what I'm gonna be doing on on the bottom side on the clear uh, side without the print on it I will be spraying uh, a layer of white paint and then black on top of it so that will hopefully uh, white will reflect uh, quite a lot better than uh, than black so um, it should uh, should help for that um, anyways um, what I need now is to get one disc of each color and attach another wire I forgot about that so I need to attach another wire this will be the uh, the very bottom stack uh, of uh, wires that can go up and down um, I want to attach those wires before I uh, 
before I start spraying uh, everything because then I'll start melting, melting paint and it's gonna stink. Um, and this um, this wire here, this this bent uh, pin from the LED, I need to put some tape over this uh, on every disc uh, to mask it up, um, so it doesn't uh, yeah, so it doesn't uh, doesn't get covered with paint. Um, I guess this this has to be soldered as well. So maybe I'll save a little bit of paint and then touch it up with a brush, so it's all uh, black on the inside. Um, yeah, so let me get on with it. Oh, one more thing actually. Um, I need to mask off the edge somehow. I was thinking whether to, what would be better, whether to uh, spray the whole thing and then rub the edge off or cover the uh, edge with something. And I think I'm gonna go with uh, masking it off um, and see how uh, how that works out. Hopefully that's gonna be good.